And oh, I don't think you've seen this one. I need a wheelbarrow. You do. <laughs> oh, what a shame. I would have loved to have seen that hole. I may try throwing it on some rocks and if I can get any to fall off, then I'll show it you again. Bottles galore. That's what we're expecting today because we're heading for a super bottle dump. So it's a beautiful spot here by the river where we need to move on in. We've made it. We're up on the top of a bottle digger's all, well away from the river and there's stuff. In fact, I can see two, yes, two foot warmers. Already? Where I'm standing, yeah. There's one just there. All right, let's have a look. Oh, yep, there's one, one there. One over there. Ah, now I remember this teapot from another video we've done with that little ceramic inside in it. Or is it a, a different one? Because there's so many repeats on these dumps and I have no idea if we've been to this bit before. And there is the other foot warmer, which I'm not going to climb in and get because I can see the knob is broken off the end of it. So let's have a look and see what is around here. Oh, some broken bits. That's a nice bottle. If I have been here before, I would have showed you that, I would imagine. Oh, cute. I think, to be honest, Lev, mm -hmm. we came up to this top edge and we were so tired, that's when we gave it. Because right. I recognised that ash tray. Oh, yes. You came up to the edge, but you didn't go further on. Right, so good time to have a look then and really explore this place. we got Fry. If your surname's Fry, that's perfect. <laughs> Is that teapot, Lady Wool? Teapot lid, just bit of there. Let's have a look. Oh yes, oh and it's different oh, as well. Look, yes, oh that, that's, that's one for me. That's, that's one got for a me. Beautiful gilded pack. No, you don't want that though. Oh, no, we no, been you don't. <laughs> no, no, that would have been with us if it had. Yeah. Let's have a look. We got a square bottle, and we got all oh, this bottle. Still got a label on it. I can't see anything on the label. Yeah. Wet on my hands. We got a teacup, more tea vicar. Oh wait a minute. Does that? I don't know. Does that gilded pattern match your teapot lid? No, mine's... Oh no, completely different. Your teapot lid is cream and my cup is white. I've got a few little pieces here. This is really nice. I'm not sure if it was a wine goblet or whether it was a light fitting. I can't see where the hole would have been in the right place for a light fitting. So I'm going on wine goblet and a little pot. And this I dug from under a tree. This tree here. The tree had come down. I imagine it was whole before the tree came down. And it was right under there. So I dug it out and there's... There's a decent bit left, but that's broken. The handles are broken, so I don't think I'll be taking that because there's just too much to take. We've got a plinth here, but that's very damaged. Another bovril jar. Oh, and what do you know? Another bovril jar. An insulator. And one of those. Oh, it's not joined onto that. That's a brick, and that is... Hmm. That's uh, some sort of light fitting, something like that. That's what it looks like. And you can see this place is just riddled with bits and pieces. Which way should we go? We can go any way. Yeah. I just noticed you left your grabber by you. I was going to say, don't forget your grabber. And mm -hmm. I've realised already I've lost my stick. Oh, no. So you carry on. Right. And I will head back and see if I can find my stick. Okay, and I'll go and find my grabber, which I know where it is. <laughs> I would have walked off without it. When I was coming from all the way up, I can't even remember which way it was now. I was thinking, I'm sure I can see something that looks like a pipe bowl down there, but I'm never going to find it. And I came down here to look at this plinth here. It was a candlestick. Oh, it was very nice. It's whole as well. And yep, I think I'm going to pop that. Oh, look, it's got... Is it the old English country rose? No, it's not. It's just a patterned one, but there's nothing wrong with that. So that's going in my bag. But here, look, it's a pipe I spotted from all the way up the top. I think it's because it's so white. I could see it and I was thinking, is that a bit big for a pipe from the distance I was at? But it wasn't, so there we go. I've got a pipe bowl. Ooh, and I think I'm the first one of this video to find a pipe bowl. Always exciting and added bonus. And here I found another foot warmer. Now that's got half a bung in it. And at the top of the bung is smashed. And this will look as the end on. No, that's always the weak point. So the end's gone there. And another jam jar. And what's that? Is that a little pudding dish? I think so. It was probably enamel once upon a time. But it's not anymore, is it? Uh, let's see what we can see. We've got a bit of a shoe. Oh, that's an unusual shoe. That's got like uh, open work. I can't remember what the word would be for that. Open work. Oh, that's really pretty. I've never found one like that. 
that's coming with me where's my coming with me pile i'll put it there and let's have a look we've got a plinth but that's still got a lot of bits on it that's this this is compo i've got to be careful i don't want to go too near the edge there I have seen some interesting things here. Now watch this. This says, in bottle, bass, in bottle. And so, I don't know how much is missing off this because that is green on the top there. So it's been painted, but that's a nice thing. I'm going to pop that over. Oh, <laughs> can anybody remember where I put my to keep pile? I can't. Okay, I'm going to try putting that on a brick, see if that will help. And, oh, I don't think we've seen this one. Glycothymoline. Ooh, that sounds very interesting. Very technical, very chemical. Ooh, pop that there as well. What I'll do, I think I'll pile some things up. I know this isn't very scientific, but there we've got almost a whole pot. And another one with a hole, certainly directly in the middle, so I'm convinced. Phil says that that's bottle diggers have accidentally punctured them. I'm convinced that people do that for drainage, whether it's to drain their cutlery on the draining board or to put a plant in it. That's my theory. Who do you reckon's right? Me or Phil? Right, there was something I spotted over here. Where's it gone? Ah, I can see it. I don't want to go too close to that edge because it's been undermined. I put my weight this side and look at this. I absolutely love that. That is such an unusual shape. I've never found one like that. There could be some writing on the bottom. We'll have to clean it up and I'll have to get my glasses on. But that, I really like. Yep, that's coming with me. And we've got... That's a boldy one. Pop that there. Don't forget it's there. We've got a jar. And we've got one of those. Like that old joke, isn't it? When is a bottle not a bottle? When it's a jar. I know my tense of humour is dreadful. Ooh, there's a big bone. Found my stick. Oh, well done. Where are you? I'm in the hair. Oh, I see you found some other things as well. Tea. I got a teapot with two lids. Oh, very useful. Neither of them are the right lid, but who cares? <laughs> and I've got a bottle we've seen before, but I'll show you why I picked it up now. Okay, you come on over to us and we'll have a look. Okay. So, here are the bits and pieces I've just picked up. Oh, look at the size on that. It's a huge brew cream bottle. Very nice. And then uh, this is a little teapot. Right. Short and stout. A, bit of a ding on the thing, but yeah. not bad. Oh, I'm one on the lip there. Yeah, not too bad at all, though. But uh, that it doesn't is, fit, you said. It does go in, but it's not mm, the right one. But wobbly. it'll, it'll it cover the all on the top for yeah, now. Oh, and you cleaned up that as well. It's yeah, not too bad. This one is a little bit too big to win. Oh, right. It's pretty. But it does mean mm. I've got another one for down the shed. So. Very nice. There we go. Oh, and, some uh, nice little finds there. Yeah. Oh, and look at this. It's one of those old Victorian tiles in a dark green to go with your teapot. Yeah. Well, we're having a fantastic time here. But there's something a little extra I want to share with you today. So just come with me now as we take a look at a place Tom has been wanting to show me for some time. And now we're going to make the journey. Ooh, look at that. We're on the way down this path and we spotted these. They, that must have been a big, huge stone pillar. Wow. I bet that was amazing when it was first put up. I think it's amazing now. I'd love to have some of those in my garden, but I think they're a bit too heavy. What do you reckon, Phil? Do you carry those home? I reckon we could get one in the boot. <laughs> yep. And it would come with a free hood, yeah. Yeah, we could roll it. Oh yeah, good idea. No, I think they'll be staying there.
Here we are everyone in the Allen Brickworks and it is, there is so much of the buildings that are still here. Not much of the windows or the doors. That's why there's so much light flooding on me because I'm actually inside one of the buildings now. But you can see the kind of layout and how things would have been when this was producing bricks by the tens of thousands and probably millions. Uh, Tom was telling me on the way up here that it was primarily fire brick and I am hoping to find an Allen brick here on site because that would be brilliant because I could use it in one of my projects and also it would be a memory of a wonderful day out with Tom and Caroline enjoying this place. But as you will have noticed there's a certain amount of um, graffiti around. <laughs> Uh, Tom was also telling us that this area was known at one time for leisure because there was a leisure gardens which seems a strange thing to put next door to a brickworks especially when you're talking late Victorian times because it must have been pretty smelly and smutty for a Sunday afternoon out with your fiance in your refinery but that's what they did had a wonderful time enjoyed themselves that was leisure then well this, as we saw on the way up when we met one of the graffiti artists, is a leisure for some today. And they're using this old building. And I, I was saying to Caroline, it's a little bit like nature, because as we walk around here, we will see the weeds and the trees that are taking back the land. And it's like as if a new generation has found a new way to express themselves using what remains of our past. So I'm going to go search for that brick while I do that. We'll just share you a little tour set to music. Found a brick. Oh, what one did you find? Ah, uh, well, that's the thing. You would, I'm looking for an Allen brick, but part of the building of this place has come down, and ooh, brick house. Yes, and I suppose fair play. If they were producing fire bricks, then they would have had to acquire their bricks from somewhere else. So we've got a brick house brick used to build the Allen brick buildings for <laughs> the nice brick production here at Allen Brick Works. This is going to be a very bricky segment of the film and I know for a fact that some of the brick fans out there are going to be so jealous. <laughs> Phil may have found a brick, but I found this which is the relief of the frog on the brick <laughs> with some mortar. And if you don't want to carry bricks home, it's a good idea to keep an eye out for these. Unfortunately, this one isn't complete, but you can see Brig Hup 
and then you can't see the big house. But look how small and light that is. Much better if you don't want to carry a ton. Ooh, it's boogie dark in here. Ooh, it's not very scary though. I can see enough to see there's nothing nasty in here, just lots of rubbish burned out. Somebody's been setting things on fire. And we've got lots of writing on the walls. Oh, I've got my lighting engineer here, Mr. Tom Burley. <laughs> Phil came to join you to give extra light and his torch isn't working. So you've got lots here. And if you look up here, they've definitely had a fire in this building because all the rafters are black, thick black with soot and whatever else you get from fire. And there's a little hole right through into the upstairs. And you can see there are lots of open spaces. You don't feel at all threatened here because there are windows, doors, gaps everywhere. I do feel quite secure and safe. Well, I've got my minders with me as well, so I'm okay. Look at that for a decorative chimney. We can go into the building that was off and let's have a look up inside. Oh, I do like to look up chimneys. Oh, they capped it off. Oh, where's the fun in that? There's a little bit of graffiti in here. Not so much, but I can see a hole in the wall. Oh, I do love a hole in the wall. Let's go have a look at the hole in the wall. See what we can see. Oh, that looks like a fun place to be. I wonder if we can get in there. Look at the rot on those, well, what would they be? The joists for the ceiling? For the roof support, something like that? Some have actually fallen down, look, and some on the floor. So we will be careful if we get to that building. I don't know if we can. This is a maze, a right warren. You can't find your way to anything. I've got another brick. Oh, well done. With its own appendage. Like... Look at that. Oh, wow, it's a brick with an appendage. Yeah, that would have held a piece of conduit. You don't get many of those for the pound. The thing is, we've already had a brick house brick from the Allen Brickworks buildings, which are made out of brick. But this brick is not a brick house brick. It's a Burkby Wick. Wick? Wick? Wick, I think. Uh, Burkby Wick. Yeah, Wick. depends how they pronounce it in these parts. <laughs> how would you pronounce it? But there we go. I'm still looking for me Allen brick, but I found two bricks at the brickworks. Aha, uh -huh. here's a bit of building that we could see through that hole. It's very pretty, but I'm not going to go any further. This ceiling looks really ropey. I don't want it landing on my head. Look at that. Something's actually in the process of falling off. On the way in here, we did pass a graffiti artist. And he said we could film him, so I'll just show you a little spot of what he's doing. He looks really cl I don't know how on earth they can do something like that. I can't. I think it takes a particular skill to be able to paint that close up. I had to control spray can. <laughs> Mine wouldn't look anything like that. Everywhere you go here, you find more little buildings. And every little building has got graffiti on it. Look at that, I like that. Somebody's done that in silver. And I like shiny things. Isn't that nice? And again, you got this wonderful texture. I love all that. I'm not going down there. That's too messy. I'm going to fall. I'm going to work my way back. And you have to be careful when you're here to try to avoid stepping on the asbestos. Because it's Yo, everywhere. Look at this, it's just like a village, it's amazing. It goes on and on. Instead of a forgotten village, it's a forgotten brickworks, but it just feels so villagey, like as if there were all these different houses and some places are bigger than others, so they could have been a butcher's or a baker's. Perhaps some places were meeting places and you really could come up with a whole set of characters and build a story on this place. It's such a lovely place to be. Uh, it's a bit hazardous. I wouldn't recommend you come here unless you're wearing sturdy footwear. And you're very, very careful. Because again, you can see there, there's another really dreadfully damaged roof. But look at the graffiti. So pretty. So many colours. So vibrant and full of life for such a dead place. It's like all these colours brought it back to life. Oh, wow. Look at this. Look at that. Huge air ducting, probably to take all the hot air up through and out. All very prettily decorated, as is the way. And there's another one over there. Let's have a look. We're not going in, but we'll have a look in each of these little rooms. Is that one? You can see 
the ceiling's fallen down on that one. And let's have a look what's in this one. There's certainly no roof or ceiling there. <laughs> there is a tree. There's a nice lilac tree at the top. How pretty. Anybody fancy a house? It needs a little bit of work. TLC. Yes, I'm sure you could make this into a glorious stairs res with just a little bit of paint and <laughs> a lot of everything else. Look at that state on this. But it would make a very pleasant place to live. As long as you don't mind graffiti buildings being your view. And lots of trees. There's a lot of work going on behind but and we heard we shall go up these steps. They look a bit precarious. Be careful, everyone. Up we go. Oh, and look, we come out into the woods. Is there anything to find in this woods? We should walk down here because apparently our Sherpa has told us that down here somewhere is something that Phil might like to discover. So we're going to walk down and see what we can find. Can you guess what it is? There's a very big chimney. And here is a Halifax Allen brick. Oh wow, look at that. Isn't that lovely and crisp, Halifax? Allen, oh wow, there you are. You're pleased, I bet. John, I'm putting one in the bag for you. <laughs> Along with a bill for a hernia. <laughs> Mary, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not really. I got a problem. I know this wouldn't be a problem for some because they would just say carry them all. But I've come over here and this one's got Halifax, but then on the other side it's got Brook. And right next to it I've got Joseph Brook mm. on a brick. And then obviously we've got Allen bricks and we've got all sorts of bricks. Or well, somebody put a pile up there. I wonder if that's a pile of significance. And then we've got about three quarters of a mile to walk back to the car. But mm. most of it is level ground. <laughs> so let's see how we do. I need a wheelbarrow. You do. <laughs> In fact, if I had two wheelbarrows, Tom could push one for me. But I'm going to have to be selective. Oh, I'm no good at that. Well, I gotta be honest, this place has just blown me away. Tom has been saying for a time, he wanted to bring me here, he thought I'd like it. He thought, right, I like it. What a marvellous spot to be on when you've got bricks doing what they were meant to be doing. As this chimney goes up, up and up. And right alongside it, we've got an immense dump with so many bricks to be collected and carried away. But I mustn't get carried away. <laughs> because we've got to get back over to that dump. Come on, let's go. Uh -oh. 
there you go we're back it was lovely to have that a little bit of uh, a jaunt with Tom and this time it was rather than I found a brick Tom found the brickworks and what a place well no more talking about bricks let's get back and see what Caroline's finding here on the bottle dump quite often when you see antique shops and things you see these metal signs these enamel signs and look at that there's one here but I don't think there's much left of it it's been in a fire so that's not going to clear off but it's a shame because no I can't get that off it, I wonder what it says mm, there's an E there and a D there five gold something do you think that was an address oh what a shame I would have loved to have seen that hole I may try throwing it on some rocks and if I can get any to fall off then I'll show it you again aha uh -huh, Phil decided he was going to clean it off for me because I wasn't having much luck and it's something min and then new new day soap the best and then that's an address on the oh no something awarded oh you can see it's in very poor condition there's a little bit falling off there so I don't know if it's worth taking with us oh the back is covered in tar too so I think I'll leave that here but that's a really nice find and had it not been so covered in tar I probably would have taken it with us I got drawn over here because of the bottles but then look at this oh, try to come out of the plant so we can see in the light a little bit better it's got it's like I don't know if it's cut glass or pressed glass because well it's been smoothed off over the years it may have been cut glass that's just rounded off or they could have been pressed glass and you can see how thin the stem of this vase would have been I did think maybe it was something scientific but I don't think it is now seeing it close up because you've got a flat bottom but that's very nice well that's another wonderful day on a dump and now I'm warm and it's time to make our way home and have some food and a nice cold drink hope you've enjoyed being with us and haven't got too hot if you have please give us a thumbs up doing, doing, doing. don't forget share it with all your friends and this time like every time till the next time have fun Bye! Bye.